Yeah, I took the uh, front half of the exhaust manifold off here. This is where it was cracked right through, of course. I'm having troubles getting to the back bolt there because of the steering column or the steering linkage. But I will be able to get back there even if I have to disconnect the steering linkage. These bolts came out quite easily. I was prepared for it to be a terrible pain. Uh, I soaked them with some penetrant and uh, left it overnight. And uh, they came out quite easy. Um, the last major exhaust manifold extraction I had to do on the Dodge truck took uh, way too long, partly because uh, twisted the head right off the bolt and uh, they were all rusted right in. You know, what happens is the bolts rust to the manifold, which rust to the engine block, all being iron in this case. And uh, over time they fuse together in such a way that they might as well be one piece of metal and bolts break. And uh, But anyway, I guess this had been kind of on and off over the years, so it hadn't been on there a lot of years. Dad and I did have a set of um, stainless headers on here at one point, but it conflicted all over the same areas like the steering box, um, the lower control arm, and this uh, panel down here where the uh, where it's actually hitting and this is why I can't just go and put a manifold on here we can see that there's a conflict down here and as the springs rise up this thing is constantly putting pressure upward on the manifold so that's why it cracked so that'll just happen again now I'll show you dad had some uh, spacers made and I'll show you those on the manifold and I can't tell whether I have to go back to those spacers or eliminate the spacers I think they were added in order for this manifold to clear the spark plugs um, better. It brings it out by a quarter of an inch at least. And uh, so there was a reason to it. <clears throat> and we'll have to figure out what that was before we do something else. Headers were a problem. I'd love to have headers, but uh, they're expensive and it was a, it was a fitment problem anyway. So let's go have a look at the uh, manifold. All right, here's the, uh, you know, it's just a standard Chevy cast iron. And here's the uh, spacers I told you about. Dad had these made up. These are water cut. And I think that was about as thick as they could cut in water. Pretty sexy. I do like, uh, one thing I kind of admire about the Chevy design of these is that you can just drop the gaskets right in there. You know, with the bolts in, you really just have to back it off enough to get those gaskets down in there. So you could actually, you know, kind of replace the gaskets without taking the entire goddamn thing out of the car. And uh, if you were to be able to back the, off the bolts enough, you could even get that spacer in there, but I imagine that's a pain in the ass. But anyway, this spacer is... Uh, Oh, I was going to say it's quite well attached, and it was, but it did finally get off there. I'm not reusing these. Obviously, they're completely fucked. I will hang on to these because I might need them. Let's go check the other side. I don't remember if those uh, offsetters, spacers are on the uh, passenger side or not. No. Passenger side, it's right up on it. And also you see there's no conflict here with the uh, collector and the uh, pipe fitment there. So this is not really the uh, problem area. It's the uh, driver's side. So I don't know, depending on what I do, if I get some old school of these manifolds, I might just leave this side alone. Although, you know what I do recall, I see a whole bunch of gunk, like uh, gasket goo crammed in there. 
I do recall this had a different leak issue and that we couldn't get this back cylinder was always kind of blowing out there. Yeah, they got some, so that's, maybe that's not good either. You can see an attempt at a repair there from a long time ago. Maybe that's not going to cut it either. You know, the more I peek into this car, the more, uh, it's just got little things happening, you know. All these hoses should be replaced, they're just no good. Fuel line, fuel pump. So there's lots going on. Anyway, that's it for now. Talk soon.